Good evening, everybody. Welcome to PFA's sixth annual Philippine Culture Night. My name is Enzo Carino, and I'm the current president of the, of the Purdue Filipino Association. PFA has been working on this since, let's say, like July, like of the summer, preparing everything, practicing since September, every day of the week. And I hope you enjoy the show. But before we start the show, I want to do some roll call. So first up, Notre Dame Faso. You in the crowd? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! All right, next up, University of Toledo, FAA. Lake County, ASA. CJ? You up in there? All right, I know you've been there. Wayne State University, Philsock. Yeah. University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, FSU. You know you are? You know Marquette University, Bayan Nihon. University of Michigan, FASA. That's good, that's good, I like it. All right, IUPUI. FSA. Yeah. All right. V. Ohio State University. PSA. Our host school, Purdue PFA, anyone in the crowd? And then, are there any other schools that I've missed? Anything? All right. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy the show, but before, I want to introduce our PCN directors. Wanel Condino and Kiefer Sagarino. Please give a large round of applause. Hello, and welcome to the fifth, sixth annual Philippine Culture Night presented by the Purdue Filipino Association. My name is Kiefer Sagarino. And I'm Gwenel Condino. And we are this year's PCN directors. Um, before we start, uh, I'd like to ask you guys to not take any flash photography. It's kind of distracting to everybody up on stage. Okay, we'd like to thank you all so much for coming out today, and we hope you enjoy a night of acting, dancing, culture, and more. We now present to you Isang Lahe, One Race. Now I'd like to introduce Alexandria Bien for the American National Anthem, and Jennifer Vance, Adrian Cruz, and Dr. Kevin Buno for the Filipino National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof Flag one. 
Lakas ng silanganan, alam ng puso, sa dibdim mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka na magiting sa manlulupi. Di ka pa sisiil sa dagat at pundo, sa simoy at Sa langit mong buhaw, may dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislam ng watawat mo'y tagong pananang niningning. Ang bituin at aram niya kailang pangmali magigining. Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta. Buhay ay langit sa piling mo. Aming higaya na pa may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Ay, Mona, for so love getting ready, I'm surprised your father, your ama, doesn't know yet. Oh. Lucy, come down. I made breakfast already. Lucy. Oh, there you are. Come down. Sit. Kaina. Okay. Thanks, Tito. Yeah, I made longanisa and fried rice. I know it's your favorite. I'm okay. Thank you, Tito. Ano? You're so thin. Are you like this in America too? Kain ka. Hi, Lucy, you're still tired. Look, you came in back from America yesterday, right? I'm sure your father won't mind if you stay here and not go into the restaurant today. I'm okay, Tito. Besides, I came here for the summer to get experience with dad's business, not to vacation. Ugh, Lucy, I'm sure your father appreciates your worth ethic, but you're still young, you gotta have fun. So come on, stay in today and keep your poor lonely Tito company, huh? <laughs> Maybe you're right, Tito. Mm-hmm. Remember that. Your Tito is always right. So come on. I was planning on going to the mall today. We can go together. And then after, we can go to the Jollibee. I know how much you love the Jollibee. Oh, and then after, we can come back, watch some drama, and share some chismes from America, huh? I really can't today, Tito. Ugh, fine. Go work with your father at the restaurant. At least tell me this, Lucy. You have a boyfriend yet? Because you know I, I won't tell your dad if you do. No, Tito, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, I get it. It's just a crush then, huh? Tito! Okay, Lucy, here. Let me tell you a secret passed down from my family for generations. The girls that are hard to get, they are hard to forget. Tito, and, boy. Huh? Remember that, Lucy. So tell me, is it an American boy? Is he strong? Is he handsome? Or is it someone from the Philippines? Please don't tell me it's not your friend from elementary. You know he's so pangit, Lucy. Tito, boy, I don't like anyone. Ugh, fine, don't tell your Tito anything. Keep all your secrets. Maybe that's why you don't have a boyfriend. What was that, Tito? Uh, nothing, here, have some more fried rice and longanisa, huh? I'm okay, Tito. Okay. I have to get going. Ha have fun. Good morning, Mrs. Castillo. Good morning, Mrs. Castillo. Good morning, class. Please take your seats. I hope you're all thinking about colleges and applications. There are many great schools, both here in the Philippines and overseas, so I'm excited to see where you all hope to go. 
I'll be passing out some worksheets. I want you to list your name and all the schools that you plan on applying to. And I'll collect these at the end of class. So take one, pass it down. And for now, I want you to work on your projects from last week. So pull them out, and if you have any questions, I will come around and answer them. College applications. I don't know. I'm going for engineering, but what if I don't get into my parents' alma mater? I don't even want to think about what's going to happen. Dad would be so upset. Oh. Maybe I should apply for some backup colleges. Maybe a backup family while I'm at it. <laughs> Mona. I wonder where Mona's applying. I wonder how I'm going to sell all of this Polaroon before I go home today. I'm supposed to be selling them to Palenque all day, but I'm here in school instead. And I really cannot go home with extra Polaroon. I already feel awful I'm not helping Ma as much as I should be. I'm just going to have to work extra hard after school today. It's really good. Super set up. Pull it on, pull it on. Three for one, five for two. Pull it on. Oh, there's Mona selling her polvoron again. Maybe, maybe today's the day I'll give it a chance and try to talk to her. Uh, Mona, hey Mona. Oh, actually, what if she doesn't know who I am? That would be really awkward. Uh, I'll just. Try again another day. Uh. Oh, hello, Paul. Uh. Hey. Would you like to buy some Paul Baron? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, how how much? Three for one, five for two. Uh, I I, I guess I'll take um uh, eight. I guess. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Fran, Cisco. Uh, you know who I am. Yeah, you're the smartest kid in school. You probably don't know who I am, though. I'm no, you're Mona. Of course, I know who you are. Come on. Uh, that's that's right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Really Here, awkward. Uh, here's your change. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I'm really sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. Um, hey, Mona. Uh, so I was wondering. Uh, thank you. Um, are you gonna say something? Uh. No, um, thanks. Uh, see you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Hey, Dad, how's your day? The deal? I don't think we should partner with them anymore. Why? Just because. Okay, Dad, the deal fell through, but it was an accident. I swear, I'm sorry. I know sorry doesn't fix anything. Look, don't worry. I'll find someone else to supply us our ingredients. I promise. I'm really sorry. Dad? Are you still there? Oh, hey, thief! Oh. Uh, 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 is this yours? Uh, thank you. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but my bulbadone. Um, what's wrong? My bulbadone. It's all ruined. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, how about I buy you dinner? Consider to thank you for getting my purse back. No, the bulbadone's not for me to eat. I oh. sell it. Um, let me help you. you no, know, no, it's okay. Thank you. I'm really sorry about the bulbadone. Look, it's getting dark out. How about I walk you home? Uh, are you sure? It's, it's kind of far. How far could it be? It's a couple hours. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you sure you still want to walk me home? Yes. <laughs> oh. Let me help you. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, um, thank you. I really appreciate it. What's your name? Lucy. And yours? Mona. Hey, uh, Ma. Uh, have you seen my chinelas? I can't find them. Enough. They should be there. Ma, uh, I, I don't see them. Look with their eyes, not with their mouth. Ma, can you help me out? Hello? Ma? Isco, they're here. Oh. Thanks, Ma. Follow him, Kita. You want follow? Because only God, you're so loud. Come sit here. Oh. Uh, what are you watching? Filipinas got talent. Look, they're so good. I should audition for it, right? Yeah, Ma.
Yo, gym rap, but it's sounding extra, extra, extra lame. Put you in your place, call that real estate. Sinky, you got me? No, I need some good drink, I'm not in that. I'm just gonna say, I'm 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 gonna say, Hey yo yo, hold up, hold up, bring that beat back real quick, man. Yeah. Can't say genius if you ain't talking about my DJ. Trench words. Uh huh. Drop. Uh huh. Top. Uh huh. Drop. Uh huh. Top. What you doing? Drop the top. Drop the top. Drop. Top. Drop. Drop. Top. Uh huh. Drop. Brand new, Rory, loser, roof, hop out, all white, feel like Zeus, godly, pardon me, let me go, mix it, muddy, say like juice, uh-huh, let's get it. Nobody pray for me, it been all day for me, yeah, yeah. Kageban Shin no Jutsu! I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though ambition flow inside my DNA. I don't contemplate, I meditate, then off your, off your head. This that puts the kiss to bed. This that I got, I got, I got, I got realness, I just kill you, cause it's in my DNA. I got off, I got trouble, some heart inside my DNA. I just win again, then win again, like Wimbledon I serve. You see fireworks and Corvette tire skirt, the boulevard. I know how you work, I know just who you are. See, use it, use it, use it. Hoi! Sit down. Liamo, sit down. Wow, Ma, they were amazing. Yeah, galing, no? Oh my gosh. I should love this shim, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Huh? I'm I'm Hapon. I'm so good afternoon, good afternoon, the mangal. I'm so shy, my nose did a go, huh? How are you? <laughs> Good English, di ba? Yeah, yeah, ma. Oh, definitely. Miss Ko, come say hi to your tita. Oh, ma, I don't want to talk ah. to. Hey, tita. Miss Ko is applying for school in the U.S. Ah, he's so talino. He's so smart. He can study whatever he wants. Ah, no, he can study whatever uh, he wants. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Huh? Ah, die. Well, young girl, bread. Do you have girlfriend? Ma, no, there's no girl in my life. That, that'd be crazy. Ay, sus. If he had girlfriend, he can go live with her. Ma. Ma, joke lang. Don't do that, okay? Huh? Oh, jeez, miss. Oh, sige. Okay. Do well in your studies, anak, okay? All right. <laughs> Kuya, hey, how are you? Yeah, 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 I'm doing good, doing good. Um, just looking at my uh, college applications. Um, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still applying to the same school as you and dad. Uh, same major, too. Engineering. Yeah. Um, huh? What do you mean? What, what else would I do? Creative writing. I mean, <laughs> I did have that really good story that one time. And I don't know. I've always been interested. But Kuya, um, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of money. And who, who cares if it makes me happy? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, um, I, I, I never knew you didn't want to do engineering in the first place. But Kuya, that would be so upset. And uh, I don't know. I just. Oh, hey, speaking of which, uh, Dad's on the other line. I got to go. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it, OK? All right, love you. Hey, Dad, what's up? Yeah, 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 School, school's going good, of course. Uh, straight A's, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm working on my college application. Uh, where am I applying? Yeah, same school. Uh, what major? What else would it be? Yeah, Dad, I, I've been preparing to get into this school my entire life. I, I won't mess it up. I promise. Dad, it was 1B. Just... <sighs> Come on. Cut me some slack. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Look, Dad, I, I, I got to go, though. I, I got some homework to finish up. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll turn in my application and uh, show it to you before I submit it. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Love you. Oh. Bye. Mona, sorry I'm late. I just finished teaching another class. Did you wait long? Hindi po. Oh. What are you reading there? Oh, it's just a letter I got from a friend. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Oh, that's okay, ma'am. She's actually a friend I made in the Palenque a while back. She's gotten really close to my family. Oh, and you guys write letters to each other? Yeah, she's not from here. She goes to school in America. America? Mm-hmm. So, Mona, what are your plans for after high school? Um, I hope to find work, ma'am. OK. Um, and I see you didn't write any colleges down. Do you plan on applying to any? No, ma'am. So you have no plans of continuing your education? No, ma'am. May I ask why? I'm sorry? Well, you're bright, you work very hard, and I know that you could do whatever it is you wanted to do. You know, I know you have your sights set on working right away, but I want you to think about continuing your education. I, I think it could be a real option for you. You know, you have a great chance of a school not just here, but overseas, America. Does your family know about your decision? No, ma'am. Do you want me to speak with them? I could. Uh, no, ma'am, please don't do that. Sorry, I just wanted to offer. Is everything all right? Yes, ma'am. Just please don't tell them I've been coming here. They don't even know I've been going to school. I mean, of course I want to go to college. Of course I want to continue my education. But we don't have the money for that. When the typhoon hit, we lost my mom. And it really took its toll on Ama. And we left Mindanao to come here. But it was still really hard for me to bat in the, get back in the fields for a bit. And we don't have any workers, so we have to we don't have money to pay workers, so he's there in the fields, working alone. And I should be selling in the Palenque all day just to keep the lights on. So I can't afford to go to any colleges in the Philippines, let alone America. Thank you for your concern, but I left that question blank on purpose. I hear you. And thank you for sharing that with me. I know that was a tough decision that you had to make. I'm sorry. But I just take this with you and think about it. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come to me. I'm always here to help. Me? America? I never would have dreamed of America. We're way too poor for that. But now, I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, it's such a good opportunity.
but I want to help my family. Mona, you're home early. Good afternoon to you too. Did Lucy write back yet? Um, yeah, Lucy says that she really misses the post cooking uh, because it reminds her of her grandma. And um, yeah, she's going to come back home when she's on break. Cool. Lucy, she always did keep telling me how good my crops were. Is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, well, uh, go put your stuff down and come help me in the fields. And give the steer up too. <sighs> that was close. Okay. Our sales today. They were good, Apo. I have your half of the profit. Aren't you going to ask if I need any help? Uh, do you need any help, Apo? No. Go help your mama. <laughs> Give him this. Salamat, Mona. Thank you. Right. Applying to schools in America. Ay, sus, Mona. You should tell your father about going to school before you go to America. Hey. Ama, Apo said to eat this. Aye, thank you, thank you. Come eat with me, Mona. How were sales? They were good. That's good. Uh, Ama, what was Ina like? Your mother? She was smart and beautiful. Always wanted more than what life was giving her. Did she go to school? School? You're not love school. That's why Apo loved her. She had so much to teach about our people and the world, and she enjoyed learning. Really? Um, what about you? Did you go to school? Me? I never went. Apo taught me everything I needed to know, like reading, writing, English, math. I needed them to communicate with other farmers and buyers. And I couldn't go to school because we needed the money. I had to work. I couldn't be selfish and just care for myself. I had to take care of my family. Selfish? Going to school would have considered being selfish? To me, yes. Because I'd be in a room all day when I could be making money to help out. My parents worked day and night to provide for my siblings and I. Besides, Apo taught me when I came home. Ama, I'm so sorry. I've been so selfish. You? Selfish? Mona, you commute for a long time and work long, hard hours at the Palenque every day instead of going to school. You're the least selfish person I know. And I'm thankful to have a child like you. What are you humming? Bogobo music from my tribe. We'd hum it all throughout the rice cycle. The rice cycle? Yeah. We'd do our rituals and dance. It involved the whole community. The men would dig holes, and the women would plant the rice grains, or omai as we called it. I remember it like it was just yesterday.
Lucy. How are my favorite farmers? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in America? I'm on break from school. I'll be going back soon. But besides visiting my favorite family of farmers, I'm here on business. Business? What kind of business? Well, I brought the baton home that Apol gave me and shared it with my Tito. He not only loved the cooking, but the vegetables you gave me too. He told dad you guys should be their restaurant chain supplier. Wait, us? Yes. Teacher boy said your vegetables are so fresh and that they're the best things he's ever eaten. He sent me here to offer you guys the position. If you take it, he'll come down personally and close the deal. I don't know, Lucy. I don't think I'm smart enough to get into business. Emma, this is such a good opportunity. You should take the deal. I'm sure they're going to teach you everything you need to know. OK, you have a deal. Yay, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> OK, let's go eat. A poll's getting mad. Uh, Mrs. Castillo, you wanted to see me? Oh, yes, Isco, come on in. It's time to discuss your plans for after high school. Oh, um, well, there's not really much to discuss. Um, I'm planning on applying to the same school that my Kuya and my father went to, and for engineering as well. Oh, engineering. So is this the only college you plan on applying to? Um, well, I, I think students should apply to multiple colleges just to be safe, but um, I think I'm confident in my abilities and uh, I think one school will be fine just for me. That's great, Isco. I'm confident in you too. I know that you'll work hard and as long as that's what you want to do, you'll go really far. Um, so is that really what you want to do? Uh, well, what do you mean? Well, you know, it's early in your academic career and it's really hard to just pick one thing and stick with it for the rest of your life. So. Nobody's really asking you to do that here. I just want to make sure that you're not ruling anything out. I seen your writing. You're really good. The English teacher told me to tell you that you should consider pursuing it, and honestly, I think you could too. Well, ma'am, my, uh, my father would never allow it. Isco, I get where you're coming from. You know. I grew up always trying to make decisions that I thought would make my family proud of me, but it took me a while to realize that I also needed to be proud of myself, you know? This is a big decision, and I want you to think how it's going to affect you. You know, just take it, think about it for a little bit, and if you have any questions, just let me know. We can talk about it some more, but don't be afraid to ask. All right, uh, thank you. I'll see you in class tomorrow. Yeah. Guya? Hey. Um, so I've been thinking about what we talked about the last time. And um, yeah, I've decided that I uh, want to try applying for creative writing uh, just to see if I'd get in. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, but, oh, why, why am I calling you about this? Uh, well, you were the one who gave me the idea in the first place to try and do something that I actually want to do. Yeah, oh, and hey, one last thing, don't, don't tell Ma and Pa just yet, okay? All right, thanks, Guya, love you. Uh, oh. Hello, Po. Are you, are you lost? Do, do you know Mona? Mona? Yeah, yeah, I, I know Mona. Uh. Um, I'm looking for her teacher. Uh, which teacher? Oh, the, the one that can help with this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll take you to her right now. Uh, hey, Mrs. Castillo, uh, someone's looking for you, I Hi. think. I'm I'm Mona's Apo, or Lola, as oh, you call it. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay, come on in. Have a seat. Um, oh, Isco, wait. Um, can you go get Mona for me? She should be in the palenque at this time. Just tell her I need to see her. Uh, me? You want me to go get Mona? Yeah, that, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? No, not a problem at all. I'll, okay. uh, I'll be right, all right back. Thank you, Isco. 
So, Apo, what can I help you with today? Uh, I know Mona's been going to school. I saw her with her backpack and uniform one morning. Uh, what I want to know is what this is? This is information on schools in America. America? Is Mona going to school in America? I don't know, Apo. Why? Do you think Mona is not good enough for America? Oh, oh no, that's not what I think at all. Mona is very bright, and if there's anyone in this school that can make it, it would be her. I just don't think she has any intention of applying. Why? I, I'm not sure. I... Mrs. Castillo, Isco said, Apo? Why, Mona? I can explain. Hi, Mona. I know you've been going to school. But, but how? You think you can fool your Apo? Hey, but never mind that. Mrs. Castillo thinks you can make it to an American school. In America! <laughs> yeah, I know, Paul. But don't worry, I've already decided I'm not going to apply to any colleges. That way I can help out you and Ama. What? I think you should discuss this. I'll just step out for a few moments. I'm sorry if I've been selfish. I know now that I shouldn't have been going to school. I should have been helping you guys. You both work so hard to provide for us. And I promise, I'll work twice as hard to make up for all the time I should have been working. I'll get two jobs, no three. No, no, Mona. Apo, I promise I'll stop going to school. Mona, enough. Your father was wrong to not go to school. And you're wrong for deciding not to continue your education. Uh, I don't understand. Mona. Please don't stop going to school. I'm sorry if you felt like you couldn't tell us. I'm sorry if you felt guilty. But you're doing the right thing. But how could I be doing the right thing? I'm not helping. I could have been making money, but I've just been sitting in this classroom all day. Making sure you live a better life than me and your ma is the best help that you can give us. Hey, do you know why we work so hard? It's so that you can have more opportunities than your ama did. So don't throw this opportunity away, Mona. Um, Mrs. Castillo. Oh, hi. Ah, uh, how do we apply for the school in America? Oh, I'm so glad you've decided. Do you know which school you want to apply to? Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I want to apply to this one. Oh, that's great. My friend Lucy's applying there, and I think I want to study business too. I'm so excited. That's a great option for you. Oh, oh, is, is this enough to pay for the application? Apo, no, those are your savings. Ay, sus, I'm old now. Let me do this for my grandchild. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of the application fee. Uh, that's, that's okay, Mrs. Castillo. We can pay for it. Oh, I, I really want to do this. I mean, you'll still have to worry about housing and application fee and tuition when you get there. So let me take care of this. I, I really want to help. Thank you, ma'am, for all that you've done, but you really don't have to. I mean, well, that's not all. I'll also pay for however much food this is worth. You can just give me the rest of the pulver run throughout the school year. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Apo, I'm home. I have a letter from the school. Apo, I... Mona, welcome home. Look, Lucy's back for break. She was just telling us how she's looking for a new tutor. <laughs> Lucy! What's that? Uh, it's nothing, Emma. Jesus. What is this? A letter from an American college. Congratulations, Mona. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you into the business program of... Mona, did you apply where I think you applied? We're going to be classmates! Mona, you go to school? Oh dear, I misread that completely. Hi. Lucy, did you know about this? Lucy, go take the letter. Ina, you too? <laughs> I'll just take that. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to tell you, I really did, I just... I didn't want to disappoint you. Mona. I'm sorry if you see me as selfish, but I want to continue my education. I promise, though, it's all so I can help you guys better. 
Mona, you're not selfish, okay? You're the least selfish person I know. But you said... I was talking about myself, not you. You know how I was unsure about making the deal with Lucy's dad? Well, that's because I was embarrassed that I didn't have an education. I wouldn't be able to keep up with the other workers. Ama. Mona, all I work for is to give you a chance at a better life. And now you have one. Yerna would be so proud of you. And if this is something you want to do, I'll support you as much as I can. Thank you, Ama. But I don't think I'll go to this school. I mean, I don't think we have the money. Ay, salamat Dios for giving me such a smart granddaughter. You got a scholarship? And it's a big one. You lucky, lucky girl. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Wait. Uh, but I still don't have enough money for plane tickets and housing. You can live with me. I've always wanted a roommate. Lucy, I can't just live with you for free. Then you could be my tutor. What? Look, I'm really going to need the help in school, and you're the same major as me. Besides, it'd be a lot easier if my tutor lived nearby. Really? Oh my gosh. Uh, but I still don't have money for plane tickets. I will pay for your plane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Since Mrs. Castillo paid for your application, it's the least I can do. Mm. You guys, I love you guys. We love you, Mona. So then it's settled. Mona and Lucy will go to school in America. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Isn't she beautiful? I never thought that love could be making one as lovely as she. Isn't she lovely, made from love? Ah. Ah, what is this school talking about? I can do America's Got Talent. Hey, what is this? Francisco, congratulations. You give me great pleasure to welcome you in to the creative writing program. Huh? Ay, <laughs> Isco! Yeah, the festival's amazing, man. But what you guys know about that Adobro's 3P? You know? He's fucked. Oh, Ma. What is this? Oh, my letter. Uh, how did you? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I don't know, Ma. I'm, I'm sorry. I just. Wait, Nat, why are you apologizing? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? If you wanted to study creative writing, you could have said so. Well, Ma, I, I know how much it meant to you and Pa for me to get into like engineering and do the same school and major as him. What disappoints me is that you felt like you couldn't tell us. So you're, you're not mad? I, how can I be mad if it makes you happy? Come here. I want to make sure you get to study what you want and not what he wants, OK? OK. OK. Now go enjoy the festival. The Tindikling performance is about to start. OK, all right. Let's go. Let's go, guys.
Hello, everybody. <laughs> now we're going to start intermission. You can feel free to step up, go around, go to the bathroom, stretch out. But during intermission, we're going to have some intermission shows. So <laughs> first up, we have the lovely Alex Bien with an acoustic red mission. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> feel free to come or walk around and stretch. All right, hello. So I'm going to be singing Awakamai. Um, it's a Filipino song. So maybe if you know it, you can sing along. Minsan madaram ko kay bigay ng problema. Minsan mahihirapan ka at matsabi di ko magaya. Tumingin ka lang sa langit, baka sakaling. May nungsong kuman Di kaya ako'y tuwagin Malaman mo Kahit kailan hawak may Di kita iwan sa palapay Dito sa mundo wala ka tiyakan Hawak may Di kita guys for our next act I want you guys to welcome the cherry bombs please hit it
you guys think? <laughs> Woo! Okay, I want you guys to give a large round of applause for JP Lebon. magic spell you cast this is the beyond rosa when you kiss me heaven sighs and though i close my eyes i see the beyond rosa give your heart and soul to me and life will always be love beyond rose Crossing you in style someday. Oh, yeah. oh dream maker, you heart breaker. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. To drifters. Such a lot of world to see. We're at the same rainbows and waiting round the bend, my huckleberry friend. Drifters off to see the world there. Such a lot of world to see. We're after the same rainbows and waiting round the bend, my huckleberry friend. I actually have one more for you guys, <laughs> so thank you.
Hello? Please welcome the Ryland Santos. So, yes, my name is Rylan. I love you guys, thank you. Uh, this one's called Try. If you were at FACT this year, uh, you saw Melissa Polinar. Yeah, she's great. I wish I could be like her, but uh, I'll try my best. Oof, that was a pun, my bad. Uh, this one's, yeah, Try by Melissa Polinar. All right, here we go. This one up. So this one's uh, this one's my own song. It's called Strawberry Lemonade. Thank you. Love you guys. Okay. you, but we've got no time, 
If I don't kiss you, you'll always be on my mind. See, I've got this problem, and you'll be my cure. I suffer from boredom, but I promise I'm not that immature. Whoa, whoa, oh. Because I know how to treat a lady right. Whoa, whoa. Because my mama told me how to be polite. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Cause it's all about you tonight. My cherry pie, we're flying high in paradise. But don't get me wrong, I'm not here for your cherry. So let's just get it along oh, and be merry. Sipping on some strawberry, yeah. Strawberry lemonade, yeah. Strawberry lemonade. We can go to a cafe to start out our day. My treats, anything you want to eat, we'll watch the sunset, sit down and reminisce. And in that moment, we'll brush your lips together and kiss, yeah. With a strawberry lemonade lips, yeah. Cause it's all about you tonight My cherry pie We're flying high In paradise But don't get me wrong I'm not here for your cherry So let's just get along oh, And be merry yeah. Sipping on some strawberry yeah. Strawberry lemonade yeah. Strawberry lemonade But the hands on the clock keep on ticking And soon I will be missing Seems like everything that gets close to me Always seems to leave Cause it was all about you, my girl You were my world We had a good time in this paradise but now you are gone, so I'm singing this song So I could reminisce on that first kiss Oh, 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 oh. strawberry lemonade Strawberry lemonade Back to the strawberry lemonade days All right, thank you, Rylan. Now you're good. So intermission's about to end, so please return to your seats. If you're an actor or in the dance, please return backstage. But uh, there's a lot of performing going on out here, so first we've got to clean the stage for a little bit. You know they don't wanna see us together, but it don't matter now. Cause I got you. Anytime you're under the weather, babe, we can always go. If I gotta pull up on you, I need you. So 
deep in my feelings Notice they ain't really like me Can't control my anxiety Feeling like I'm touching the ceiling When I'm with you I can't breathe Boy you do something to me All right, everybody, so the stage looks a little cleaner now. So we're gonna start the second act. Thank you. So, where do you wanna sit? I think I'm gonna sit over there. I saved my friend a spot. Oh, okay, see you later, then. I can't believe we're almost done with our first week of school. Only two classes to go. Hey, um, are these seats taken? No. Do you mind if we sit here? Not at all. Hey, are you guys Filipino by chance? Yeah. Are you Filipino? Yeah, you guys should join the Filipino club. There's a Filipino club on campus? Yeah, I'm actually one of the board members, and in fact, there's actually a call out tonight. So, what do you say, ladies? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm intrigued as well. We'll Great. be there. I'm David. Lucy. Mona. Do you understand any of this? Sort of, but it's okay. I'm getting tutoring later. You have a tutor? Yeah, Mona's my tutor. Do you understand any of this? Yeah. Do you want me to explain it to you? Actually, if you're down, do you think maybe you can tutor me too? Really? Yeah, I'll pay you in everything. Oh, okay. You've got yourself a tutor. Fire. We'll work out the details later. Hey, what's up, you guys? How's your guys' summer? 
Y'all go anywhere? Y'all go anywhere? How about you, Risa? You go anywhere? I just visited the Philippines for a little bit. The Philippines? You mean like for a mission, mission or a charity or something like that? Uh, no, just to visit some family, that's all. Oh, right. You were born in the Philippines, weren't you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> all right. Bro, I mean that new game, dude? Whoa, wait a minute. Is that David? Bro, it's been so long. I was going to recognize you. You really let yourself go, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. What's going on? Hey guys, just handing out flyers for this new club I started. It's the Filipino club. It's a great way to know more about the culture and meet new people, and you don't even have to be Filipino. I don't uh, really want to join. Is that really not our oh, thing? Oh, come on, just come to the call out, and if you don't like it, you don't have to join. David, I really Okay, don't. okay, fine, maybe we will. Okay, we'll consider it. Great, see you guys there. All right. You guys are going? No, you think we'd actually go to something like this? I just want them out of here. Why, are you going? What? No, I really don't like Filipinos, but aren't you, <laughs> aren't you like a Filipino though? Yeah, but I just don't like being around them. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Where okay, is so the room for this Florida? call out? Um, excuse me? Oh, are you guys going to the Filipino club call out too? Uh, are you guys Filipino? Uh, no, but Riso here over. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm Filipino. Awesome. Uh, can you help me find the room? Or we could just go together. Um, I think the building's over that way. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Aren't you coming? Uh, no. Oh, why? Aren't you Filipino? I just don't like being around other Filipinos. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go. Bro, you read the new video game, though? Yo, what game? Bro. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen David? He's supposed to help me set up today. Wait, David, where have you been? I'm so sorry, but I made up for it. I recruited not just one, but two new members, and some of my friends should be coming, too. Really? Are you sure they're going to show up? They'll show up, you'll see. Halaka, if they don't show up, you'll be in so much trouble. We'll see. Oh, guys, everyone, they're here. Everyone, meet Mona and Lucy. Mona? Hi, it's nice to meet you all. Glad you guys can make it. Yep, I brought you and Lucy a cookie. Uh, Francisco? Uh, hey, Mona. Do you guys um, know each other already? Uh, yeah, we went to the same high school in the Philippines. Oh, wait, you guys are from the Philippines? So are we. Is the meeting starting soon? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> My friends still haven't shown up. We have to wait. David, I don't think anyone else is coming. Fine, let's get started. Hello, everyone. My name is David, your president, and I founded this club to share more about the Philippine culture to students and to our school. Now, I do know there's a lot of misconceptions and stereotypes about the culture, so I want to make events and and ideas that could help uh, bring more to our culture. So if you guys have any ideas, just throw them out. Oh, yo, let's have a karaoke night. Or a movie night. Those are all great ideas and all, but let's think about events that show more of the culture. We could set up a booth at the school festival. That's a great idea. We could let people try different Filipino foods. Oh, I've always wanted to try bulut and lichun. Yeah, I mean, we don't get the opportunity to try out these foods so often, and I want to learn. Then it's settled. We'll hand out food at the school festival. Meetings dismissed. Feel free to hang out with others in the room. Man, I wonder what happened to Reza and the others. They should have been here by now. It's all right. So, you guys ready for tutoring? Yeah, we can go to my house. Cool, let me go get my stuff real quick. Hey, Mona, um, I was uh, surprised to see you here. I never would have expected you to come to this school. Uh, yeah, me either. Um, but Mrs. Castillo, she actually paid for my application fee. She's kind of the whole reason I'm even in America. Uh, yeah, yeah, same, same. Wow, uh, Mrs. Castillo, what a great teacher. Yep, she really was. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, where, where I, I guess, where are you staying on campus? Oh, I'm staying with Lucy at her house. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so, 
Hey, Mona, I, I've been wondering. Okay, Mona, uh, ready to go? Yeah, just give me a sec. Uh, what are you saying? Oh, nothing, nothing. Um, you should probably go. Don't want to keep Lucy waiting. Oh, no, we're actually just waiting for David. Oh, waiting for David. Yeah, he's coming over later. To your house. Yeah, I mean, it's technically Lucy's house, so. Right, right. Sorry for the late, Mona. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Later, let's go. <laughs> David and Mona? David and Mona. I... Mona, Lucy, glad you could join us. Um, where should I put these? Thank you very much. So, we still good for tutoring later? Yeah, can we just get dinner before we go to the library? For sure. Uh, Hey, Lucy, I, I got you guys some more food. Uh, hey, Mona. Hey, Francisco. Is there something going on between you and David? David? No. You don't like David? I thought for sure there was something going on between you two. What? David? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Nobody. So, hey, David, you want to get dinner later? Oh, I can't. Me and Mona are going to get food after, then go to the library. <laughs> oh, um, you and Mona? Just you and Mona? No, no Lucy? Nope, she's busy today. Oh, yeah, yeah, busy. Uh, um, so, hey, David, I, I was wondering, actually, um, is there something up with you and Mona? Me and Mona? What are you talking about? Um, well, uh, are you guys, like, uh, together? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just friends, and she so happens to be my tutor. That's it. Yeah, yeah, friends and tutor. Gotcha. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you ask? <laughs> uh... <laughs> David, no reason. Come on. <laughs> Wait, do you uh like Mona? <laughs> Mona, do you like Isco? David, me like Mona? That's that's absurd. Okay, all right. Mona, she's she's great. Um, and I like her. Uh, I mean, I I'm gonna go get some more food. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> me? Isco? Uh, I'm gonna go help. Some people are really enjoying the food. <laughs> um, all right. Here, try some cassava cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Rizzo, over here. We, oh. miss, we missed you at the call out. Hey David, um, what's going on here? Oh, we're just selling some Filipino food. You guys like to buy some? Uh, no, I think we saw an Italian place over there. Guys, guys, I think we should just try a little bit. We already flicked on this pot when we said we would go. Fine, Rizzo, we'll try it. All right, what are you guys serving? Here, try these. What, what is this? It's beef salad, barbecued intestines. It looks like blood. Oh, that's because it is. It's Dina Guan. It's pig's blood. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh here. It has some on oh. Sorry, I'm not fond of dirt.
Hey, what is wrong with you? What? Of all the foods you can serve today, you guys decided to give out isao, yinaguan, bolot, the foods that scare people away from our culture? I, I didn't know. Why can you serve more like lumpia or halo halo? I... Or why can you just do karaoke? There are a million other ways to portray our culture. This is not the way. As someone's also Filipino, I'm embarrassed to be seen with you guys right now. This is an embarrassment to your club, to our country, and to our culture. I'm really sorry. I didn't think people were going to react this way. It's, it's not your fault. I think we just took the wrong approach to presenting the Philippine culture. That's it. I think we should just hand out more common Filipino foods like panse, puto, adobo. I think, I think I have an idea. Attention everyone, please gather around for a small cultural presentation. David, what are you doing? We don't have anything prepared. Don't worry, I got this. Here's something almost all Filipinos know. Are we gonna do things? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ocho, ocho, pan. It's Tayo, man. Ocho, ocho. Ocho, 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 I think I know what our next event can be. We should have a cultural show. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, we can discuss that at the next club meeting. <sighs> uh, hey, I didn't know you could dance. <laughs> uh, Mona, come on, that wasn't dancing up there. What are you talking about? You were great. You, you really think so? Mona likes Isco. Isco likes Mona. <laughs> Okay, everybody, the show's only a few weeks away, and the dances and skits are already looking really good. Great, great job, dance director. Oh, uh, one more thing. Who wants to sing the national anthem? Uh, I hardly know any of the words. Yeah, I don't think if not everyone knows the anthem, we should sing it. Maybe play it on a CD will do. Oh, okay. If those are all the announcements, Karaoke at my place. So, how's it going with you and Isco? It's not going. I can't be distracted by my feelings. I have to focus on my studies. Mona, I know you. You don't let anything distract you, not even your feelings. Have you considered telling him how you feel? What? No. I mean, yes, but no. What if he doesn't like me? What if he likes somebody else? It'll just be embarrassing. Uh, Mona. You really want to live your life not knowing how he feels about you? Besides, between you and me, I'm pretty sure he likes you too. Really? You think so? Okay. I'm going to go tell him. Hey. Hey, hey Isco. Can we talk? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, Mona. Uh, that's all you. So, uh, Mona, what did you want to talk about? Um, I was just wondering if you liked anybody. Uh, me? Like anyone? Uh, no, no, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, I was just curious. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, wh what about you? Um, do, you, do you like anyone? Yeah, yeah, I do. You do? Oh, wait. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. I, I actually knew that already. You did? Uh, yeah, uh, I think I've known for a while. Uh, oh, uh, so what do you think? Well, what do I think? Um, well, Mona, no matter what happens, uh, I, I always want to be at least friends, okay? Oh. Okay. It's okay, right? So, how'd it go? Are you guys a thing now or what? He said we should stay friends. I saw you and Mona talking back there. Is everything okay? Yeah, David. Um, you know, Mona just likes someone else. I'm sorry, man. Hey, but on the bright side, you can get loose at karaoke tonight? Yeah, yeah, for, for, for sure. Hey, guys, are you guys ready for uh, karaoke? Not now, David. Oh, come on. Be ready to be loud by my sweet singing skills. Lately, I've been down to the riptide, making my way to the dark side. I'm going to be your left hand man. I'm sorry I didn't take your idea about the national anthem. It's OK. I understand why you didn't. We cool? Yeah. Now let's go party. David and Mona. Rizzo. Oh, what do you want to talk about? I just want to apologize for what we did back there. N I now understand we should have brought the Philippine culture in a different light, it being our first event and all. OK. Is wait, that all? Wait, 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 wait. Do you mind if um, you want to join us in karaoke tonight? I don't think so. Oh, come on, Rizzo. First, you don't even come to the call out. Then you yell at us at the school festival. And now you won't even come to karaoke with us. Rizzo, you love karaoke. I still do. I just don't want to do it with you guys. Hey, what is your problem? How many times do I have to say that I don't want to be associated with you guys before you finally get it? Why are you acting like this? You of all people should know, David. We grew up surrounded by misunderstandings, misfortunes. We were both bullied for eating different food, for having different customs, different words, different upbringings, for being different, <sighs> for being Filipino. And do you think we have our own people lie when things get rough? But no, when one of us becomes successful, it's our own putting us down. So I can't stand being around you guys because Filipinos are all the same. They think they're better than everyone else, and they're so judgmental. They pretend to like each other, and then at the very end, they stab each other at, at the back at the end of the day. <sighs> Yo, Risa, you ready for the Smash of Ultimate, bro? <laughs> oh, hey, David. You ready for, ready to go, Risa? Risa, come on. <sighs> yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's right. play Smash. Do you mind if I go ahead? I need to clear my mind a little bit. Yeah, go. Is he OK? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted to ask. You seemed kind of upset when David didn't use your idea. Well, I kind of was. I mean, me, you, and Isco are from different parts of the Philippines. There are so many different customs, traditions, and dialects spoken. The variances in our cultures can cause misunderstandings and arguments. But one of the few things that unites us is the national anthem. So. In our show, I wanted everyone to see that while we might be different, we're still isang lahi, one race. I think the anthem brings us together, and in unity, there's strength. I didn't realize it meant that much to you. Well, I only started thinking about it when I realized that not a lot of people know about Philippine culture. I mean, we don't even know that much about it, and we're Filipino. Also. What that guy Rizzo said really bothered me. And I know not every Filipino is like that, but for the slightest second, I felt ashamed to be Filipino. And I don't think anyone should ever feel ashamed of the culture they're from. So I was hoping we could sing the anthem, making us feel Filipino pride. But 
no matter. I'm happy with the presentation as it is. I think it's a good way to show who we are. Let's go to David. Okay, guys, we're gonna learn the national anthem and surprise Mona on the day of the show. Wait, I thought we weren't gonna sing the national anthem. I think we should. Mona was really upset by what that guy was saying, but she was angry at herself because for even a moment, she was embarrassed by her ethnicity. She wanted us to sing it because she wanted to make a statement. They can say or do whatever they want to us, but we're proud to be Filipino. Yeah, you know what, I'm down. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it. Yeah, for sure. Do you want spoken? Let's sing it. <laughs> oh, you guys um, are here early. We were just so excited for practice. There's only a few more till the performance. OK, great. Well, today's the dress rehearsal, so everybody go get ready. Hey, Mona. Mona. Uh, Mona? Hey. Oh. Francisco. Uh, I was just wondering if uh, you had a chance to talk real quick. Sorry, I can't. I, uh, I have to go get ready for dress rehearsal. Oh, but it'll only take a second. I, oh. Um, oh, hey, Lucy, uh, is there something wrong with Mona? She's just not feeling well. Oh, is everything OK? Uh, what happened? She's fine. I hope this isn't out of line, but I was really rooting for you and Mona. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too, Lucy, me too. Well, at least she finally confessed her feelings for you. Yeah, at least she finally, wait, wh what? <laughs> what? Confessed her feelings to me? Wait, wait, does Mona like me? I, I thought she liked David. David? No, I thought she told you. Look, Isco, Mona likes you, and I'm pretty sure you like her, too. Okay, uh... <laughs> Maybe you should tell her how you feel. I'm almost positive things will work out if you do. Well, Lucy, that's great and all, but um, how am I supposed to tell Mona how I feel if she won't even listen to me? Make her listen. <laughs> Make her listen. Uh, you know what? I have an idea. Here, come with me. Okay, everybody, dress rehearsal starts right now.
over. He's gonna do a harana. <laughs> He's gonna sing her love song. Oh my God. Isn't she love? <laughs> Isn't she love? 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 Isn't Mona, I like you. I've liked you since high school, and uh, I've had so many chances to tell you, and I never took any of them. I, I was afraid uh, that I'd make a fool of myself, or that you wouldn't return my feelings. Er, but, oh. <laughs> Regardless of all that, I just want you to know how I feel now. Um, and I like you, and I don't know, I was hoping you might feel the same way. Thank you for joining us on this first day. The Filipino Club is hosting a two-day cultural event and we hope you'll be attending tomorrow for the big finale. There will be food and performances and it's a great chance to learn about the different aspects of Filipino culture. Now, without further ado, we hope you enjoy this performance. Long ago, the earth was ruled by three tribes. The sky. The sea and the wind. <laughs> the people from the sea were known for their synchronization. Their motions were fluid, and the tribe moved as if they were one. On the other hand, the people of the sky were known for their strength. They were aggressive and their movements were thunderous.
They flowed and thundered, but their movements were sharp. Tired of their fighting, it took on the form of a large bird to stop them.
celebrate the end of the war, a seed was planted in out Peru, bamboo. The wind could hear voices coming from inside, so they pecked at it until it split open. Out came Malakas the strong and Maganda the beautiful, the parents of the people of the Philippines. Thanks for coming, everybody. Make sure you come back again tomorrow and see what else we have in store for you. <laughs> Bro, like, that performance was wild. And, <laughs> like, not in a good way, you know? Man. I mean, like, did you just find that creepy? Like, they all looked like savages. They aren't even portraying the tribal culture correctly, man. Oh, hey, sorry to hear you guys didn't enjoy the show, but don't take it out on a whole culture just because you don't understand its customs and traditions. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that y'all look like animals. What? What? Don't take it out on an entire culture just because you don't understand. Okay, how about we all just go home and calm down, okay? Okay. Yeah, calm down. I'm just over here making my own opinions based on my observations. So let me break it down for you. I mean, y'all eat blood and intestines. Hey! Then y'all go around walking barefoot and don't even use utensils. That's enough. And then you guys wear rags and cover yourselves up in paint. Now, stop. I don't know about you, but all I see are uncivilized, uneducated animals. And you know where animals belong? In a cave. Okay, you know what? Animals. What is your problem? You don't Whoa. take me insulting your culture and your people. Down, doggy. Are you just gonna let him talk to us like that? You don't know anything. I understand why you're upset with our people. I get it. Growing up, I used to hate being Filipino, but this is our culture. This is where we came from, and like it or not, you're Filipino. No matter how much I hated who I was, no matter how many dirty looks I got because of my ethnicity, I never once let anyone say anything about my culture. 
Because you're not just insulting me. You're insulting an entire nation, an entire struggle that you don't even understand. And that is just wrong. You know what, guys? Just leave already. What? You think we're just going to leave after she just... Let's just go. Fine. Whatever. Hey, guys. Don't let them get to you. A lot of other people really like their performance. No matter how much we want to, we can't please everyone. Yeah, you're right. Let's just go home. Let's go get some rest. <laughs> that little... Nobody speaks to me that way. Especially not some people that don't even belong in this country. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, everyone. Enjoy the show. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the show. All right. Are you guys ready? Today's the big day. So nervous, but definitely ready. Great. Could you guys set up the stage? Mona and I were going to, but we haven't gone back there yet. We... Oh, we're a little late getting here. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. We'll catch you guys later. Come on, Risa, let's just go. Hello. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, you guys are still putting on a show? Yes, why wouldn't we? No reason, I'll dance. Why do we even come here? Oh, you're gonna wanna see this. What did you do? Oh, you know, just put the dogs in their place. David! 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 Can't you see I'm a little busy right now? I think something's happened to your show. What? I think my friends may have done something to mess with your show. What are you talking about? I'm s telling you this because I'm sorry. I said all this stuff about Filipinos, and then, and then I did the very same things I hate them for. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. But I think my friends may have done something mess with your show. And whatever they did, it's too far. What could they possibly do to our show? That's the thing. I don't know. Mona, Lucy, David, we have a big problem. Thank you. What happened? The set is destroyed. It, it's okay. We can, we can still have a show. We, we don't need the background and the set. We, we still have our costumes. Lucy. I'm, I'm so sorry. Why? What did we ever do to them? Guys, let's just calm down and regroup and. Uh, guys, what are we gonna do? There are people outside waiting for us to put on a show. We can't let them stop us from putting on the show. Well. Maybe we should just cancel. How is canceling the show supposed to fix anything? Look, I know it sucks. It sucks that we live in a world like this because people can't seem to get rid of their prejudices. People, David, you founded this club because of people like them. You wanted to educate people who make presumptions about a culture they don't know and understand. If we cancel now, they're gonna think it's okay to misunderstand, that it's okay to make presumptions. We need to make a statement. Guys, Lucy's right. Um, we still have time to regroup and think about this. Clean up uh, before the curtains open. David, please. Guys, let's just go home already and clean up. Did 
Tiga pasisi il, sagaga at bundok sa simula. Sa langit mong bukal, may dilag ang tula at awis sa paglaya minamahal. Ang kisap ng watawad mo'y tagumban na nalilingning. Ang bituin at araw niyang kanan, pamadi magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng wal, hatid pa sita, buhay lang isa. Alright, everybody, so that's the end of PCN. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you all for coming, but before we end, let's do the curtain call. So first up, I wanna, wanna thank the seniors. Come out. <laughs> Next up we have Castillo, Ma, Ama, and Apo. Please give it up for Rizzo, David, and Lucy. Please give a big round of applause for Isco and Mona. Special thanks to the Loeb crew for helping us out to put this together. 
I want to give a special thanks to Eleanor's dad for crafting the Bunko benches. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Thrisha Foundation, especially Vince Pakutain. Thank you, Thrisha. I want to special, give a special thanks to Mr. Chris Libon, JP's dad. And I want you guys to support Michelle's GoFundMe. She's going to the Philippines to teach English for one year. I want to give a special thanks to the community, the Filipinos of Greater Lafayette, for helping us out. And finally, just give a large round of applause for our PCN directors, Winnell Condino and Kiefer Sagarino. Final bow. Final bow. P3 three. Ah, ah.